As you can see, this is the said waterfall. Um, it's not the best angles to get it from on this path, but I don't feel confident enough to climb down to go to the other side of the river either. Um, and there is an annoying tree that's fallen down in the way, but I'm doing the best I can. And of course, what else do you do on the day when you come to take a picture of a waterfall? You forget to bring your polarizer. What the hell is that all about? What an idiot. So it will look a bit shiny, but I hope it looks all right. And I've not gone too creamy either, because I can't stand that really slushy, creamy look that people put on water. I like a bit of life in my water, so to speak. I like to see that it is actually flowing at some point. So I've taken a few in landscape orientation, and I've taken a few in portrait orientation. Unfortunately, with that hill at the back of it, you don't have to worry too much about light coming in from the sky. So I hope they look all right. It's a bit of a grey day, but you know, I'm out, I'm about, I'm alive, I'm having a laugh, and I'm making a video. It's been a bit of a hair-raising trek up here for me, to be honest. It's a bit slippy, a bit slidey, and a bit stressy, but I've made it, and you know, what else can you say but it's a beautiful place it's a beautiful part of the world and i do love coming here i've got a few shots of the viaduct from different angles everyone usually goes for the straight on shot but i've tried to incorporate the hills behind them and let's see what they look like We've got to get out, get out and about, try and live as lives at the moment. But you can't do much getting out and about because it's like 155 for a litre of petrol. 